there is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. Master Jedi, apologies for the interruption. We have a situation. What is it? The Navi computer. Someone's tampered with it. Added a whole bunch of data about a planet called Rishi. Nothing on Rishi but pirates and gun runners. Slicing our computer would be out of their league. Show me. What is it? A vision. This planet, Rishi. We must go there immediately. from the Red Hulls, aren't you? Welcome to Raiders Cove! Nothing but fellow pirates here. You and your crew don't have to kill or maim or eat anyone. Right? Kill or what? Eat people? What are you talking about? It's what you do. Everyone knows. And it's no big deal. I'm sure those people your crew ate on Talaran had it coming. But we're all friends here, right? No need for any massacres or cannibalism here. You've mistaken me for someone else. I'm a Jedi, a peacekeeper, not a killer or cannibal. You don't have to hide. Everyone's heard of you, and no one is disgusted or terrified of what they've heard. Not at all. Uh, except Goro, I guess. Uh, he's been saying you'd show up and that he'd love to take you on, but he doesn't speak for the rest of us. Where can I find this Goro person? Ah, uh, the cantina? Probably. He hangs out there a lot. They serve good food there. No need to eat anyone. Ever want to hate your life? Go to Hoth. There's good scores in all the wreckage, but nothing else to do there at all. So boring. Otogawa, Kikuru Bakili, Kusamala Chikuta, 
ikosemose ala tuta. You must be Goro. Man paula kavaji oto. Easy, Goro. I just cleaned up after your last brawl. Don't do this to me again. Who told you that I'm the captain of the Red Hulls? You're going to stop telling people these lies about me. Now. This is the worst mess yet. You, um, you're not gonna eat him, are you? That's the last thing I need people hearing about my place. Please, listen to me. I'm not a cannibal. I'm not a pirate. I just came for information. I didn't want any of this to happen. Yeah, well, Goro did. When he sees... saw a chance for blood, he always went for it. No talking him down. Do you know who told Goro about me? Kai Zyken. He's an idiot that runs one of the crews here in town. Goro had just come from one of Zyken's Sabak games when he started talking you up. Had to be him. I don't let Zyken or his goons into my place. You'll have to find them out in town somewhere. And watch out for Goro's brother. He's a handful. Kai Zyken? Huh? Uh, uh, no speak basic. Uh, ni wana wonga? Neither did Goro, apparently. This is not my day. Hello! Yes, I am indeed Kai Zyken. Though there are probably lots of people with that name. Just saying. You don't have to be afraid. I'm not who you think I am. I just want information. Yeah, information on getting your credits back. Come on, this isn't my first shakedown. You don't really need those credits now, do you? As in, now, now? We've never even met before. How could you possibly owe me credits? I... what? Is that rhetorical? We never met in person, but we still had a deal, I know. I'm not trying to worm my way out of it. Tell you what, instead of credits, how about I tell you who warned me that you were coming? That's gotta be worth something, right? So you can go after whoever sold you out, and... I could stay in one piece? Go on. It's... uh... It was a message, so I saved it on my data pad. Yeah! Oh. Great! He put it in the lockbox! It's all yours! Anything else in there, too, you just help yourself. <laughs> what? You'll leave us be if you know what's good for you. You'll leave us be if you know what's good for you. You'll leave us be if you know what's good for you. You best respect the Corsair's property. You'll leave us be if you know what's good for you. Rishi. I'm sure you remember the debt that you owe the Red Hulls. Quite a few credits. Not something they're likely to forget. My droids are spreading word of their arrival. 
if you were to do the same, then it might be too distracted to come after you. The choice is yours, of course. Greetings, gentle being. Let me regale you with the tale of the dread red hulls and their monstrous flesh-eating captain. Oh my! You are the monstrous flesh-eating captain of the red hulls! What a singular pleasure to meet you! Who programmed you to say these things about me? I'd be happy to tell you. Very eager to meet you, after all. Big fans. You can find them at these coordinates. But do be careful. After your magnificent duel with Goro, there may be others out for revenge. Excuse me, you there! Have you heard of the dread Red Hulls and their monstrous flesh-eating captain? Your brother earned the death he got. Are you following in his footsteps? Gora, Gora, Demon Stable Bra. Thou guy, thou guy. I know the Homo Savo, I know the Homo Shapo. I came here for answers, not for blood. Go. Hey there. Theron, Lana, you're the ones behind all of this? Guilty as charged. Sorry if we put you out, but we had to be cautious. The Revenites have gone to increasingly severe lengths to hunt us down since we destroyed their operations on Ricotta Prime. We had to get you here to help us without leaving a trail. Sorry we couldn't be more... direct. I'm sure you wouldn't have done all of this without a good reason. What have you found? We need to go after the pirates that run things on Rishi, the Nova Blades. They butcher entire starship crews and enslave anyone on Rishi who stands up to them. And now we've learned that they're working with the Revenites. The Nova Blades are being sent to attack trade lanes in very specific areas. They've gradually remapped quite a bit of stellar traffic. It's all very strange. You believe there's more to their plan than raiding or financial gain? We're certain of it. We just can't find the pattern. We need to shake the Nova Blades down, find out what they know. Their computers can tell us everything. But a direct attack on the Blades' base now might make the Revenites suspicious. We need to hide our real motives. So that's why you told everyone I'm a pirate. When I attack them, it will look like a fight between gangs instead of a targeted move. Exactly. Now, before we send you for the main event, we should hit a few other Nova Blade holdings to solidify the cover story. The Blades have a supply cache hidden nearby. Once the Red Holes have destroyed it, word should spread quickly. We have some... mutual friends who are excited to help with the task. They'll meet you in the field to settle the details. Jakaro and C2D4? The very same. While you're hitting the supply cache, we'll keep spreading the word about your grudge and see if we can find any other targets. Sound good? You two have put me through quite a bit already. This had better go smoothly. That's the spirit. Good luck. So loudly, Master. There could be ruthless pirates or hungry wildlife all around us, hearing us, smelling us. I'm glad to see you're still helping us out. We need all the allies we can get. <coughs> Theron and Lana said you'd have a plan. <coughs> you mean, we don't have to go charging in face first this time? We're staying in the ship? Oh, thank you, Master. Thank you. Oh, yes. Please make sure it's clear that this was the work of the Red Holes. We need to keep up appearances, after all. Very well. Let's get started. Here it comes! Away! 
Zone, Commodore. We're gonna lose everything if we don't airlift what's left to the slave camp. And we're not backing down just because some upstart crew thinks they got what it takes to break us. Buckle down, be a Nova Blade, and kill whoever's messing with us. But Commodore Marcock, we don't have to fight. Just tell me what you know about the Revenites. Oh yeah, sure. Why don't I go ahead and feed you and put you up for the night while I'm at it? I took down a dozen contenders to get this post. I ain't even a little bit scared of you. I was hoping you'd pick that one. Theron, our task is complete. Nice work. I believe one more assault on the Nova Blade's holdings should be enough to solidify our pirate feud and disguise our true goal. One of the Blades mentioned a slave camp. Do you know anything about it? We do. You remember me saying that the Nova Blades basically run things around here? For the most part, they're pretty hands-off. But if someone stands up to them or fails to pay their fees to live here, the Blades grab them and ship them off to the slave camp. The slaves are a substantial part of the Nova Blade's income, both through their labor in hazardous mines and as merchandise for off-world slave traders. According to our information, the slaves are kept on a remote island under heavy guard. Do you think you can manage to free them? You really aren't like other Sith, are you? I like to think I'm my own woman. Since we don't know the island's exact coordinates, your best bet is to stow away in one of the shipping containers the Nova Blades take out there. Once you reach the slave camp, you can catch them by surprise, break up the security, and free as many as possible. All in a day's work for a noble Jedi, yes? You're getting off this island. Uh, wow, thank you. We'll hide out in one of them shipping deals till you're ready to go. About time I got out of here. Jakaro, I have a pickup for you. C2D4 here. We have your coordinates and are on our way. Been mining Exonium for the blades every day for two years. All to pay off a lousy three grand I owed. And I ain't the only one. You're free to do what you want now. Yeah. And we had to talk about that. Even in this place, we hear stuff. About your gang, the way you've been making life ugly for the Blades. We want to be a part of that. You want to work for me? Hey, we're good at a whole lot of stuff. Tell you what, get in touch with a pal of mine in Raiders Cove. 
Harlow Ricks. Check in with Ricks from time to time. Tell him what you want us to do, and we'll do it. Simple as that. You get nice and close to Margok, you give him one for me, all right? I got the slaves off of the island. We heard. Word of your raids is going around fast. Even the Revenites have heard about the Great Red Holes. We just intercepted this transmission from the Nova Blades headquarters. This is ridiculous! How am I supposed to hold up our part of the deal if you won't give us any backup when we're in trouble? Then perhaps we should seek other allies. I'm sure there are other crews on this planet who are capable of managing their own affairs. Hey! We've done our share. You wanted the shipping lanes raided, we raided them. You wanted stragglers picked off from the big battles, we did it! And your clumsiness cost us our Mandalorian allies. Torching her crew of old fossils? We're better off without them! And I'm beginning to think we're better off without you. Deal with your own problems, if you want to prove otherwise. Do you know anything about the Mandalorians they mentioned? I've heard people around town mention Torch, but I didn't realize she was tied to the Blades or the Revenites. Might be a good lead for later. Right now, though, I think we should press our advantage against the Nova Blades. Agreed. The Nova Blades are based out of an old crashed warship, the Aggressor. You've probably seen it off in the distance. You need to hit them hard. Make it look like the goal is to completely crush them, so nobody notices when we raid their computer cores for intel. Chikaro is refueling his ship as we speak. While you approach the aggressor, you can use your target designator to call for his assistance, just like before. Our enemy is cornered, but not helpless. I'll proceed cautiously, and contact you when I reach the aggressor. May the Force be with you. Circuits crossed for collateral damage. Good work. You really are insane. Coming after us here? Should have stuck with picking on tourists in the Outer Rim. I wouldn't have had to come here if you weren't too afraid to leave this old dump. I have more important things to do than taking on every wannabe outlaw that lands on Rishi. The Nova Blades founded Raiders Cove. We've been here long before you, and we'll still be here long after. I can get the doors open, but it looks like the Nova Blades have their own slicers on staff, so I can't get any real data. I'll take care of them. Good luck.
This is my ship. Think you could just walk on in and be left alive? Dozens of comm logs in here, hundreds, sent to people all over the galaxy. Coruscant, Droman Kaas, Corellia. The names are all encoded, but breaking through that is only a matter of time. I'm gonna get started right away. Great work. You should hurry back. Despite what we overheard earlier, the Revanites could show up at any moment to try and help their allies. Besides, I think we've earned a bit of a celebration. I don't know that Jedi and Sith celebrate victory in quite the same way. Well, now you'll have a chance to find out firsthand. Welcome back. You've achieved more in your short time here than we ever thought possible. You should be proud. I think seeing that smile of yours is a much better achievement for the day. <laughs> now you're just teasing me. <laughs> I also said we should stop for decorations on the way. Now the party's terrible, and it's our fault as much as theirs. Hey, slicing the Nova Blade files is slow going, but I've already found more references to this torch person that Margok and Revan were talking about. She definitely heads up a group of Mandalorians based here on Rishi. They were allied with the Revanites, but then broke ties. And not on good terms. If we can find Torch and get her talking, she might give us some good intel. Maybe even help us take the Revanites home. These people kill for credits. They're more trouble than they're worth. I think that's a risk worth taking, don't you? Otherwise, we're just sitting around here waiting for the computer to finish. It looks like Torch and her crew control their own island not far from here. Think you could head over and see what she has to say? This is going to end badly. Wait and see. I'm sure you can handle one aging crew of Mandalorians. <laughs> Sensor, I'm glad to see you. Masters Bestros and Nostaral send their best. We miss your insight on the Jedi Council. I miss the Council's debates, Grandmaster. But alas, Tython isn't where I'm needed. I've heard rumors, but I can't guarantee this channel is secure, so I'd rather you safeguard your secrets. Just listen. The Jedi Council must do more than react to crises. We must see to the future of the Order and the Republic. What we've seen in war, the truths we've learned, will be our gift to later generations. And few Jedi have seen or learned more than you. Our understanding of the Eshka, the Emperor's children, even the shielding technique that defeated Terek Morish, it could all be lost if we take no pains to preserve it. You want me to construct a holocron? Yes. You've contributed to holocrons before, but we need a full archive of your history, your thoughts. A record to continue all your life, as you grow, learn, and change. As you said, we have a duty to the future, and I feel the burden keenly, but I've had no opportunities to act. How do you suggest I proceed, Master Satil? I've granted the request of Master Kutri Oa to seek you out. He is a prophet, and a master of the Holocron's craft. He wishes to aid you in the device's construction. He's come to Rishi believing the Force has willed it. You might be flattered. Where is he? I'll send coordinates. You have much to offer our successors, and much to learn. Do what you must, and may the Force be with you. Approaching Torches Island.
done pretty well for yourselves. But you're in the arena now. Meet Joss and Volk, husband and wife, tough as Durasteel, undefeated, and still eager to prove themselves. Together we can't lose! Take that, Volk! to hand it to you. That was something. I think it's time we met. They call Torch. Shea Visla. That little nickname the locals came up with. Hell if I know why. You recently had a falling out with the Revenites and the Nova Blades. I could use your help. I'm sure you could, Jedi. Tell you what. Instead of whatever grand gesture of cooperation you thought might happen here, why don't we try something a little different? Been a while since I had a decent challenge. I'm taking this opportunity to show my clan how it's done. Won't let you win. Not bad. Not bad at all. Been a while since someone's given me a fight like that. You should be proud. You're telling me this was all just a fun little sparring match for you? Well, me, my clan, and our beasts. So I wouldn't call it little, really. Now then. I'd say you earned some answers. It was the Revenites you were asking about, right? We were the ones who hooked them up with the Nova Blades. Even helped them win a scrap or two. Once they started the secret manipulating all-out war nonsense, I pulled us out. I've had my fill of war. Did the Revenites tell you anything else about their plans? Afraid not. I do know they've got a whole fleet of warships tucked away somewhere on this planet. Never gave me any real details or coordinates, but they're here. If you want to find them and smash them up, more power to you. I liked this place a lot better before they showed up. If you want to join the fight, you'd be welcome. I'll keep it in mind. Pretty sure I've got enough to do around here, though. Let's get you patched up, Bode. I've been going too easy on you! afford to be so reckless, Jakaro. Losing Theron is bad enough. What if we lost you too? Now, now, everyone, stay calm. Queen Lena of Onderon once faced a similar predicament, and her solution was quite creative. Shut up, droid! What's going on? Where's Theron? He was captured. The Nova Blades data listed a Revenite safe house here in town, and when we tried to investigate... <laughs> 
<laughs> Theron is the only one the Revenite saw. They may not know about the rest of us. If so, we need to maintain that advantage. If we move quickly, we may be able to catch up before the Revenites disappear again. They already have. Please, this is not the time for reckless heroics. I really think you're all much too worried. They took him alive! That's a good sign. They're probably just torturing him a bit. Maybe doing some interrogation, where he could tell them about us. Oh no! That won't be an issue. Theron has several discreet implants to help him ignore pain and chemical manipulation. A powerful force user may still be able to learn what he knows. I've never been able to... Yes, I've tried. I'm sure it's no surprise. Theron's mind is highly ordered, very resolute, probably due to his childhood training by the Jedi. He'll keep our secrets and we will rescue him. But right now, we need to focus and think it all through, just like he would. You're right. We need to stick to the mission. When we find the Revenites, we'll find Theron. Precisely. If we're fortunate, he may even learn a bit about their plans. Now, what did you learn from the Mandalorians? Revan has a hidden fleet here on Rishi. He's preparing for some kind of battle. A hidden fleet? Pirates altering shipping lanes. That's it. They aren't just affecting the shipping lanes, they're also changing Imperial and Republic patrol paths. Revan is trying to draw them into a battle. Here, over Rishi. With his own ships in the mix, both fleets could be devastated. That must be his goal. Weakening both sides so that he can make his own play. We have to find some way to interfere. I know where to find them! <laughs> After they caught Theron, I intercepted their transmissions. After that, triangulating their base was a simple calculation. I completed it almost 87 seconds ago. They're on a small island not far from here. The native Rishi have a trading village on the same island. I'm sure they'd give us comfortable lodging. Then let's go. We need to clean up any trail we might have left here. You go on, we'll meet you shortly. Oh, I used to love cleaning. Greetings. We watched you fighting on the beach. The other off-worlders were very unkind. We are much friendlier. Have you come to trade? Do you need lodgings? Outsiders are always welcome here. Thank you for the warm welcome. I'm surprised you're so open to outsiders. We love outsiders. You all have such interesting things to say. <laughs> An entirely new off-worlder. We've never encountered your language. Please, speak more. Oh, there's no need for that, I assure you. I can speak quite well for both of us. Allow me to introduce... The second head speaks too. I assumed it was decorative. How fascinating. You mentioned the other off-worlders earlier. The ones who attacked me. What do you know about them? We don't know much. I'm afraid they usually avoid us. It seems a little rude, but we know that our ways are different. They have some camps on the island. They wear different colors, dark in one, light in the other, but they all work together, like you. Revenites. Some from the Republic, some from the Empire. I think you're right. I'm still going over the data Theron decoded from the Nova Blades. Go to those camps and interfere any way you can. Save the reading for later. It'd be nice to have you along for once. I'd like to, but I really don't think you'll need my help. My time is better spent here. May the Force serve you well. Alright, you're here. You got us. And what's it gonna be, Jedi? Did you come to spout your narrow-minded drivel? Or do you have something more permanent in mind? Your betrayal ends now.
You never. Hmm. With all of the security alerts, I was expecting more. Let's settle this, Jedi, before any more time is wasted with your pointless interruption. Melanek and his people are all dead. Do you want to join them, or do you want to talk? I think I'd prefer to kill you. You're back. The Rishi told us about some disturbances in the camps. I dealt with them both. Theron is being held in another Revanite stronghold nearby. Do we know anything about it? The Valley Facility? We just learned about it ourselves. The Rishi tell us there are quite a few starships hidden in the vicinity. Revan's fleet? Precisely. And according to the Nova Blade's data logs, his plan is moving swiftly. Fleets from the Empire and Republic are approaching as we speak. These aren't just small patrol groups. Both navies have gathered their most powerful warships. They're being overseen directly by Darth Maher and Satil Shan. We know the Revanite infiltration goes pretty high, but surely not those two. I haven't gotten far enough into the Nova Blades data to know either way. I, I agree with you, though. It seems highly unlikely. <laughs> what do we know about the Revanite facility? It seems to be their primary operating center on Rishi. Heavy security with only one clear path of approach. You'll have to attack straight on if we're to have any hope of rescuing Theron and stopping this fleet battle. Then that's what I'll do. We'll assist you any way that we can. May the Force serve you well. Can you find any hard data on his location? Let's see. Here we are. Recorded interrogation sessions. Coordinates are included. I'll forward them along. What about Revan? No information either way. I'd advise caution. Another pointless attack. Where's Theron? He and I have had some interesting conversations. My own flesh and blood completely blind to the sacrifices I've made. I've struggled for centuries to preserve the galaxy, to protect future generations from the most destructive evil that's ever existed. How can none of you see this? Do you speak of the Sith, the dark side? 
The Jedi have defeated them many times. We don't need your ruthless manipulations. You do. You just refuse to see it. You're here. Come on, we have to go. Now. Theron? Escaped all on your own. I hoped I would have more time to make you see. He's got a signal jammer that's blocking all starship communications in the Risi system. The fleets will come out of hyperspace practically on top of each other. No coordination, saboteurs in every crew. It'll be a massacre. And at last, the board will be cleared of distractions. Self-destruct sequence. Come on, we've got to go. Look out! Is everyone all right? Lana, you shut down the self-destruct? I'm beginning to get the hang of this slicing business. I've created a monster. You should hurry back. The Republic and the Imperial fleets will be arriving very soon. I'll return immediately. I'll meet you there. Need to grab a few things on the way out. Attacking from the air is pointless. The anti-air defenses are much too thick. I'm afraid of them, doesn't that count? What are our other options? I think a surface attack is our only real shot at taking the jammer down. Leave that to me. Perfect. We'll arrange transportation for you. You've got to move fast. The fleets are going to be dropping out of hyperspace any second now. The longer we take... <clears throat> the longer we take, the more we lose. You don't sound good, Theron. Shouldn't you be in a Colto tank instead of planning missions? Probably. But there's no time. I need to finish slicing the last of these Nova Blade files. They have data on every ship with Revenite infiltrators aboard. As soon as the jamming clears, we'll have to broadcast everything we've got to convince the fleets to cease fire and lock up the Revenites and their crews. One last thing since Lana stepped out. Watch your back. I'm starting to think my little visit to the Revenites might have been her idea. You think she's working for the Revenites? No, but I don't think she's putting all her cards on the table either. Just. Stay alert, all right? This isn't the time to start dividing ourselves with suspicion. We have to stay united. Maybe you're right. I don't know. We can sort it all out after that jammer's down. Good luck. I don't know if you can read me, but I've arrived. We read you.
the right. Accept it or die. Come in. Do you read me? Flagship Don is here. Patching you through to the command deck. This is Satil Shan. Do we have you to thank for shutting down that jammer? That and a whole lot more. There are traitors hiding on every ship in your fleet. The Imperial ships too. They're manipulating the battle from both sides. I'm transmitting the traitors' names now. They're part of a cult. The Order of Revan. Revan? But he was killed. Apparently it didn't take. All ships cease fire. Open a channel to the Imperial Commander. I've been listening. As ruses go, this is quite creative. It's the truth. Round up the people from Theron's list and see for yourself. And if you're correct, what do you propose? A meeting. Face to face on neutral ground. There's a town on the surface, Raider's Cove. We'll send coordinates for the meeting spot. Very well. I hope you know what you're doing. Would anyone like some refreshments? We have several fine beverages available. No, thank you. I'm fine. All right. Off to a good start. Master Satil, thank you for coming. Of course. The Revanite ships have all been scattered, captured, or destroyed. Their accomplices aboard our vessels are in chains. You found a threat and given us the means to root it out. Separately, what do we have to discuss? Revan is still alive, my lord, and his plans don't stop here. The Emperor's not dead. Revan thinks he can fix that, but he's wrong. Isn't he? No one person, not even Revan, can truly destroy the Emperor. If Revan wants to kill the Emperor, why are we concerned? Because he will fail, and his failure will have consequences for us all. The Emperor's current state is nebulous, incorporeal. To strike at him, Revan will first have to return him to a physical form. 
Which is exactly what the Emperor wants. He will destroy Revan, then move on to the rest of us. In time, he will consume all life in the galaxy. How do we prevent it? How do we stop Revan? The Emperor's hideaway is a secret, even to the Dark Council. The fourth moon of Yavin. That's where we'll find Revan. He wanted me to join him there. Never said I couldn't bring a few friends. According to our data, he still has extensive forces at his disposal. We would stand a better chance of overcoming them together. No matter what evidence I present, I doubt the Supreme Chancellor will agree to any kind of alliance or truce. Neither will the Dark Council. But my ships and the soldiers aboard them are loyal to me. I can convince my troops to maintain a truce. They've seen Revan's threat firsthand. Then we meet on Yavin 4. Agreed. Theron. We can talk on the way to Yavin. I have some business to finish here. Thank you for your help. All of you. This can't have been easy. The conspiracy is finally exposed. We've been hiding our actions from our allies for so long, it's a relief to have everything in the open. So we can talk about how you threw me to the wolves now? I made a calculated strategic decision, and it worked, as we can all see now. And if you had talked to me about it, I would have volunteered. You didn't even give me a choice. We couldn't risk the Revanites knowing that your capture was a ploy. You had to be in the dark for the plan to work. I don't care what your excuse is, Sith. You lied to us. Do it again, and it will be the last time. I will do whatever serves our goal best. Defeating Revan must outweigh all other concerns. I think it's time we moved on. Yavin is a long way from here. Agreed. Let's get moving. Lana, stay a moment. We should talk. Since you can't trust anything I say, let's not waste the time, shall we? I can stay and talk a while. Some other time, then. Enjoy your trip to Yavin. My master wishes to report that the surrounding terrain is quite rugged. Revanites are based in an ancient temple nearby. We found no usable supplies or shelter. The other scouts gave similar reports. There has been some contact with Revanite patrols, but no heavy resistance as yet. There is so much darkness here. It's difficult to get any sense of specifics in the environment. The Emperor isn't the only Sith to have left his mark on this place. We need better eyes on the region around us. Scouts can only patrol so far and brush this dense. It is more than that. I sense their fear, their distrust. This world is mired in ancient hatreds, and we have brought more than our share already. Was there a suggestion somewhere in all that? The troops are too distracted by each other to keep a proper lookout. They're expecting to be stabbed in the back. Then we'll set an extended perimeter past the outer guards and make it impartial. Sensor equipment doesn't pick sides. I can take care of that. <laughs> Once our position is secure, we can focus on Revan. Do we know any more about how Revan is intending to bring the Emperor back? Everything about the Emperor is a mystery, even to the Dark Council. Speed is our only ally now. We'll keep in touch while you're getting those sensors up. Good luck. Watching Darth Maul pace. That guy redefines intense.
I finished planting the sensors. Good work. Uh, before you come back to base, I think an extra modification is in order. With a few tweaks, we can set the sensors to forward us extra data on Imperial activities. We won't even know it's happening. You want to spy on the Empire's forces? I think recent events have taught us to keep an eye over our shoulder. We won't be doing anything to damage their capabilities, just staying in firm on them. If we don't show trust, we'll never keep a lasting truce. You're serious? I guess I can't make you do the smart thing here. Just head back to camp. You're done out there. Fair and out. Welcome. You sense it too. Not the ancient Sith or the Emperor. Not Revan. Another presence. Different from the rest. Yes. It is more like you. I sense it too. Is it really possible that a light side presence could exist here? The light can flourish anywhere. Apparently. Sensors are picking up something a bit more solid. Large structures, mixture of ancient and modern materials. Looks like they've been ransacked. Lots of debris. Check for broadcasts in signal range 47.2. What am I seeing here? It's encoded. The facts behind a rumor. That signal range is used only by the Imperial Guard. The structure we've found must be their training facility. They might be broadcasting something we could use. Can you decode it? No, only the Guard has that capability. But given the destruction Theron describes, it's most likely a distress call. If the Guard has a facility here, they may have information on the Emperor's hiding place. That would lead us straight to Revan. Agreed. As this concerns only Imperial interests, I will assemble a team of my own to investigate. Benico, with me. We can't sit back and watch. There's no telling what they might pull out of that facility. We can't just take their word for it. Hurry. While Mar is gathering his team, make your way out of the camp and search the Imperial Guard base as quickly as possible. We'll stall the EMs as much as we can. Let's just hope this doesn't turn ugly. Trust is in very short supply right now. I'm not sure it's best to gamble what little we have. We don't have any other options. Trust is hard enough when we're on even footing. If they get an edge on us, forget it. Please hurry. And may the Force be with you. Bet you anything it's less tense out there than it is in here. All the same, watch yourself. Invaders! Interlopers! This world is off-limits! He told us from the start, only the devoted, only the purest, his orders, his command! Are you talking about the Emperor? Do not speak of him! You are cattle! Fodder for the greatness to come! You were attacked by the followers of a man named Revan. Do you know where he's gone? To the temple! And from there, the final steps are walked. <laughs> we have failed, but so will he. Plans within plans, always. This too has been foreseen. All possibilities are witnessed and adjusted for. What are you talking about? The end is inevitable. All will be devoured to fuel his transcendence. All nations, all worlds, all species. You, me, Revan! <laughs> None will survive! He's inevitable! My death serves his will. As all do, we are the fuel. Our sacrifice ignites his blazing glory. I see you've made a new friend. This man is the only survivor of Revan's attack. We need to take him back to the camp for questioning. 
then we will. Return to the camp. We have much to discuss. It was an Imperial matter. Your Jedi had no place in it. We're supposed to be working together. If the situations were reversed, wouldn't you have done the same thing? You don't trust us. If you trusted us, having me involved wouldn't have been an issue. This is a dangerous game you play. Kill each other now? Wait until later! It's all the same! <laughs> it all fuels the flame! Enough! I will wrench the information we need from this man. The rest can be settled later. Why not let Master Satil have a try at that? Do not push me further. Violence is what drove him into his current state. More will only make him worse. You're welcome to observe everything, but a gentler hand will be more successful. I'm sure of it. Let's get this over with. I must say, Master Satil is quite a pleasant interrogator. Theron should be quite proud. Let's find out what we're up against. A device for mass ritual sacrifice? That's seriously what he called it? Capable of killing every living thing on this moon, as fuel for the Emperor's resurrection and housed within the very temple the Revenites are using as their base of operations. So, we'll have to breach the temple and shut the weapon down before Revan can activate it. Getting inside at all will be challenging enough. The temple entrance has a locking system that can be overridden from the outside, provided we find the right mechanisms. On it. I certainly never thought we'd be killed by an ancient Sith murder machine. We're fortunate to have run into each other. <laughs> Think I found the locks Ivan mentioned. You better get out there and take a look. We'll feed you info as we find it. May the Force serve you well. Arrival has been foreseen. You must press on. You're close. I feel it. Hurry. Good. 
you have opened the way. Reverend, how is this possible? Through the Force, anything is possible. When the Emperor's followers struck me down, I learned to release my attachments. Then who's wearing your mask and leading your followers? I do not know, but I recognize much of myself in him. The darkness I left behind. He must be stopped. His fury will only strengthen the Emperor, not destroy him. Your descendants are close by, Satil and Theron Shan. Why speak to me instead of them? I must remain apart from them. My attachments have always driven me too far, and I have always refused to see it. You must do what I could not. You've done it. The way is opening. I just spoke to Revan. You what? He was there? It was his spirit. He couldn't tell me who's wearing his mask, but he did confirm that trying to kill the Emperor wouldn't work. The man who tortured me was an imposter? How could he know so much? We can sort that out when we face him. For now, we need to focus on the weapon he has primed inside the temple. You're right. We're only going to get one shot at this. Once our forces enter the temple, it's only a matter of time until our friend pulls the trigger. A joint strike committing all of our forces and the Empire's has a good chance of pushing through the temple and disabling the weapon before it can fire. An operation like that needs perfect coordination and trust. It might take some doing to get our troops working together at that level. Perhaps a smaller team would be a better option. A small team might be able to infiltrate the temple and reach the device before it can be activated, but they'll be facing some steep odds. You have led the mission this far. Our victory is within reach. We'll let you decide how best to achieve it. Revan's spirit. Are we ready? All teams report ready. You've done very well. All of the soldiers here look up to you. Imperial and Republic both. Let's proceed. All units, move out. All units report success. The weapon has been shut down and all Revanites neutralized. Only one more left to deal with. Ivan told us where Revan might go. The Emperor's final sanctuary. We've got speeders prepped. You won't be facing them alone. Then let's begin. Your entire army's barely managed to drive me back. You think you'll be able to face me without them? The Force is not my only ally. Shea Vizsla? Wouldn't miss a fight this good. Bring as many fools as you like. You won't stop what must be done. You don't know what you're doing. The Emperor is too powerful. 
No, not any longer. I have set my will against this creature for centuries. Only I can destroy him. But you aren't Revan. Who else could do what I've done? Who else would have the strength to come this far? I am Revan, and I will complete the work I started so long ago. I spoke to Revan's spirit. You can't be him. Lies! You have been deceived. Can't you see what you've become? Your hatred and regrets are consuming you. My own flesh and blood standing against me. The depths of his corrupting influence are endless. I will waste no more time. This must end now! This will be the end of you! I must have my revenge! You are sealing the galaxy's fate! This is my destiny! He is strong with the Force! I must have my revenge! This is my destiny! I will see you break! It can't be! What's happening? Impossible! The ritual hasn't even begun! The deaths you've caused, the war you've fueled, it is all mine! This galaxy is mine! It's time I claim it once more! Is everyone all right? We're fine. That was him. The Emperor. How is that possible? We stopped Revan. He did not assume a physical form or possess a body, and he left as soon as he appeared. None of it makes sense. Still packs a punch. The General is entirely misinformed, Your Eminence. A few coats of paint, and I'll be ready for the Lunar Gala. Looks like we weren't the only survivors. He might be able to tell us more about what's happened. I've... failed. As have I. So many centuries. The Emperor and his dread masters, trying to wrench me apart, to unleash my anger and hatred. I detached myself from the pain, focused on the Force. You hid behind Jedi platitudes. You weren't strong enough to survive the torture or the battle in the Foundry. I faced them! I survived them! You've carried on, dragging the remains of a body that should have long since faded to dust. Hatred fueled cunning, but burned out all wisdom. Without me, you could not see. Strength is useless without wisdom to guide it. We need to repair what the Emperor has done. whole again. But there is much to do. The Emperor has returned. Steel yourselves against what will come. Let's get back to base camp. He was right. We have a lot to do.
Their actions are confusing, to say the least. I don't appreciate being left in the dark. Does the Supreme Commander share these concerns, Chancellor? He does not, but that is hardly... The two of us have been fighting this war for quite some time now. We know what we're doing, and we appreciate your trust in us. Just as I'll appreciate being informed when your fleet is back in position, so rush out. I guess ignoring the boss runs in the family. Where are we planning to go from here? Back to towing the line, at least for a while. Our forces are preparing to launch. I should make sure ours are ready to do the same. It's strange. The next time we meet, our circumstances will be... quite different. Well, don't take it personally, but... I'm hoping that you'll never see me again. <laughs> and I'll hope that I do. I'm glad we could put aside our differences and achieve so much. It's been quite interesting. It's been a pleasure working with you, Lana. Strange, but a pleasure. Until next time. Well, quite a ride, huh? Revan's down, the conspiracy's over. I even got my job back. Wonders never cease. The SIS is lucky to have you back. Can I get that in writing? Come on, we better go check up on the bosses. The Imperials are leaving a small force of volunteers behind to watch for any further activity from the Revanites or the Emperor. We'll be doing the same. As it happens, Jakarl and I have received several lucrative business offers. Various acquaintances made on Rishi, nothing to concern yourselves with. That being said, we have sincerely enjoyed our time with you, and would gladly provide our services again at any time. Why go work with someone else? I'd be happy to have you stick around and join my crew. A tempting offer. Farewell. There's more for us to discuss. Your role in bringing light to the Revanites' conspiracy is only further proof of your tremendous skill and connection to the Force. What's more, you've battled against the Children of the Emperor and triumphed, where so many others fell. The Order needs to remain vigilant against the Emperor's influences and to uncover the true origins of his power so that we can fight him more effectively. The Council is proud to have such an ideal Jedi to lead those efforts. Congratulations, Barsenthor. You will be the light that guides us through the coming darkness. This is a grave task, and I'm honored that you would entrust it to me. Knowledge will be our greatest weapon in the battles to come. We are attempting to calculate where the Emperor might have gone, but we don't know enough about his capabilities to determine anything for sure. While we get the task force up and running, we're going to need you out there acting on your own. Follow every lead you can find. And remember, the threat of the Empire remains. They will not hesitate to use this situation to gain an advantage over us. Until the Emperor is destroyed for good, the entire galaxy is in danger. We must be ready. 